Hello students and parents, welcome back to my channel with another science tutorial video today. In my today's video, I am going to explain you one of the most important chapter of chemistry that is synthetic fibers. So, let's get started. Fiber is a natural or artificial substance that is significantly longer than it is wide. Fibers are often used in the manufacture of other materials. Fiber is a hair-like strand of material which can be spun into yarn and made into fabrics. Fibers can be generally defined as thread-like structures that are thin, long and flexible. The two main sources of fibers are plants and animals. There are two types of fibers, natural fibers and artificial or synthetic fibers. Fibers such as cotton, wool, jute and silk come from plants and animals. They are natural fibers. Fibers such as rayon, nylon and polyester are artificial fibers. Among these, rayon is regenerated from cellulose, a natural material. Nylon and polyester are made from chemicals. All these fibers are together known as synthetic fibers or man-made fibers. Rayon is also considered a synthetic fiber because it is completely man-made and goes through the same manufacturing process as other synthetic fibers. Fibers and fabrics play a large role in everyday applications. Synthetic fibers are polymers. A polymer is a large molecule formed by the combination of many small molecules, each of which is called a monomer. The structure of a polymer can be prepared to that of a bead necklace, the beads being the monomers. The process of combining the monomers to form a polymer is called polymerization. Wool, cotton and silk are natural polymers. Synthetic fibers are human-made polymers. Rayon was the first artificial fiber made. The raw material used is wool pulp or cotton linters. Pure cellulose is extracted and reprocessed under controlled conditions to form fibers. The purified cellulose is treated with chemicals to get a thick, viscous, honey-colored spinning solution called viscose. The fibers are made by passing the viscose solution through the fine holes of a shower head called spinneret. They are hardened by passing them into a sulfuric acid bath. They are finally spun into rayon yarn. Rayon is called a regenerated fiber as the original raw material cellulose is broken down and then reformed. There are mainly three types of rayons, viscose rayon, cupramonium rayon and high weight modulus rayon. Different chemicals are used for obtaining the different types of rayon. What are the uses of rayon? Rayon is soft, comfortable and absorbent like cotton. It is therefore a good fabric for clothing. Rayon has the shine of silk but costs much less than silk. It is also called artificial silk. It drapes like silk and it much cheaper. Hence, rayon is a good fabric to make fashionable garments. Due to its strength and shine, it is also a good fabric for home furnishing such as bed spreads, curtains and carpets. Since it is a strong fiber, it is used in automobile tire cords. 
Nylon was first introduced in the 1830s. It is a polymer made from two monomers by a process called condensation polymerization. There are various nylons such as nylon 6, nylon 66, nylon 510. Nylon was considered a substitute for silk and became popular as the material for women's stockings. Nylon is a strong and elastic material and it is suitable for stocks. It is used for stockings, track suits, combat uniforms and parachutes. It is light, wrinkle resistant and easy to wash. It is therefore used to make garments like saris. It is also wear resistant and garments made from it last a long time. It dries quickly hence it is suitable for making swimwear. Because of its high strength it is used to make tire cords it is considered much better than rayon for this purpose nylon ropes are used for mountaineering being a strong and light wear material it is used for making small machine parts zip fasteners toothbrushes and fishing nets polyester was invented by the same company that had earlier invented nylon. Apart from polyester fiber, polyester film is also very popular. Polyester has properties similar to that of nylon. It is strong, crease resistant, light, elastic and absorbs very little water. Polythylene terephthalate is a commonly used polyester. Polyester can be mixed with cotton to make the blended fabric called polycot. It can be mixed with wool to make the blended fabric called terry wool. Being a lightweight material, it is used to make fire hoses. The characteristics of synthetic fibers are they are stronger, more elastic and make tough and durable fabrics. They are also easy to wash and dry and do not wrinkle. So, I hope my today's video will become helpful for your study. Stay tuned to my channel and definitely follow my all videos to get good marks in science and mathematics. Bye-bye.